everyone, it's Tuesday night. I am back from my placement today and I do that on a Monday and Tuesday. It's something that I'm doing with uni at the moment. So I have that every Monday and Tuesday um, to eight hour shifts, yeah. Um, so that's done. Monday and Tuesday is over and done with. And I'm just going to focus on the rest of the week now. I've got three days at uni, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday are two days at my actual work. So it's quite a busy little while, but I'm sure I'll manage. Um, so yeah, it's Tuesday night at the moment. I am just about to do something with my hands. Um, and this is something I actually wanted to ask a little bit of advice about. I get very, very dry hands in the winter. I wouldn't say I have eczema because I don't seem to get this in the summer, it just seems to be in the winter. And basically they crack, they get to the point where they are red raw, they crack around the knuckles and um, joints basically. And this one in particular tonight there is really really red. So it's not fun, they get pretty painful and even just washing them sore. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got the hemp hand protector, I'm going to pop that on with some gloves at the moment and just try and um, let my hands kind of soak up the hand cream and hopefully that'll help um, but I just wondered if anyone has any tips does anyone else suffer with really dry hands and if you do what do you use because um, that would be excellent if you could let me know down below so yeah as you can see um, it's not a pretty sight really really dry and you can see there that actually that hand is pretty much cracking so um, yeah I'm gonna use this the hemp hand protector I've used this for a while and I do really like it I just need to get into the hang of actually putting on every single night but to be honest I'm starting to wonder if this is gonna need something more than this um, I don't know if there's possibly something that the doctor can give me um, that's a bit more don't know like moisturizing so we'll see I'll give this a go at the moment pop it on and put these gloves on and I'll see how we get on hello everyone it is Wednesday and I am just back from a few jobs I had to do this morning and um, I had to go and get my bloods taken and also I was getting a contact lens checkup yeah I haven't been wearing my contacts recently um you've probably noticed in video to videos as well that it's primarily my glasses that I'm wearing and it's just because they're actually pretty uncomfortable. Um, so I had a contact lens checkup and the girl has basically said, she's told me this before, that I have like a stigmatism in um, mostly in my left eye but slightly in my right eye as well and that basically means that your eye is shaped like a rugby ball I think she said, like instead of a football. So my contacts aren't really fitting my eye very well. Sorry I'm just looking at my cooking instructions, I'm having super noodles. I know it's really really bad but I just fancy them, it's like comfort food because it's absolutely freezing outside today, it's so cold. So back to the point, um, she's going to give me a trial of some lenses that should hopefully be a little bit more comfortable because at the moment I'm buying lenses and I'm not even wearing them so I've just got this big backlog of them which isn't good, there's no point in paying for something that I'm not even using. So we're going to try a few different things and hopefully get the lens a little bit more comfortable because they're just not comfy enough at the moment basically. So that was this morning, um, today's Wednesday, I'm heading through to uni in a little bit. Um, I've got time to have some lunch and then an hour's time I need to go and get my train. So that's what's happening today. Um, just one lecture today, then I'm going to come back and make the tea. There's not really anything else to update you on, I don't think actually. I took some stuff to the charity shop there and also sent back an ASOS order because um, I'd ordered a jumper but it wasn't right. Actually, I'm going to do some shopping on ASOS tonight, that reminds me. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you at some point later on. I can't believe I forgot the crucial thing that I had to tell you, which I'm really excited about. I was able to fit in some time this morning to film my makeup collection. So that's basically for hitting a thousand subscribers that I wanted to do a kind of special video. So that's going to go up. Um, hopefully I'll get that edited tonight and get that up tonight. So that's quite exciting. Um, and hopefully it looks okay. I just had to use natural lighting, but fingers crossed. And I'm also wearing new jeans today, so I'll show you them. I've been needing new jeans because basically I have some, but they're not comfortable because I put on a little bit of weight over Christmas, so they were really and comfy. So I picked up these ones from m and &S, um, and they're like the kind of ripped style. Um, absolutely love them. So comfortable. can't remember how much they were. I think about £35 but really really comfy and just a kind of really relaxed um, nice fit. So I used to have to work a Wednesday night as well um, but now with my new uni classes this trimester I'm not able to so it's actually quite nice. I do a longer shift on a Thursday um, so it's nice not having to go to work both Wednesday and Thursday night instead it is just the Thursday. Um, yeah so I'm pretty much about to have my lunch. I'll show you these super noodles. 
So this is super noodles here. It's something that you get in the UK. Basically they're junk, but they taste good. So I'm gonna have them and I've got some toast on and that is my lunch. So it's Wednesday night, I have made the tea. I'll show you what we're having. So this is what we're having here. It's like an Italian meat sauce that we're gonna have with pasta. Um, and the pasta's nearly done. We are having whole wheat pasta. So that's that. I have laid the table here. Um, I've got some parmesan as well. I just need to do the drinks. And I've also got some parsley for on top of it. And I've got the plates laid out, so I'm pretty much good to go. Hello everyone, it's Thursday today and I just came to the station to head through to university. I've got a couple of classes, however my train was cancelled. Um, so the next one is 20 past and there's no point in heading through because by the time I get to my seminar it'll be about 20 past 9 and the class is 9 to 10. So first of all I don't want to interrupt everyone and second of all I'm really not going to be there for all that much of it. Um, so I'm just going to head back to the house and have some tea and some breakfast, that's the plan. It's a bit frustrating because obviously I do want to go to class but what can you do when your train's cancelled your train is cancelled so i'm back at the house i have made myself my tea and i'm gonna have an egg and some wholemeal toast as well and i'm sitting watching kjs beauty here on youtube otherwise known as Kristen. and um, she is lovely and she does the most amazing makeup tutorials so i'll leave the link to her down below and you should definitely go check her out so this is the plan um for the morning I'm just going to chill and have this and then I'm going to head through to my 11 o'clock class. What should I do with my hair? I actually have no idea but I'm just not enjoying it anymore. I mean it's just long and doing nothing and it's so hard to style and I'm rubbish at hair at the best of times so I have no idea what to do with it. If you have any thoughts leave it down below. Um, yeah I'm just about to head to class soon, still Thursday today. Um, a girl, a lovely girl who comments on my videos and I've never been able to reply to her um, comments. She left me a comment and she said that she thinks she's one of those people who I can't reply to, which she was right. And she left me her Instagram. Um, so I've gone over there and I've followed her. Um, and her name's Alison so I just wanted to say hi and thank you for leaving such lovely comments. I really appreciate it. Actually, um, does anyone know why you can't reply to certain comments? Because it's really starting to frustrate me because there's quite a few that I can't reply to and often they're asking me questions about something that I'm recommending or um, something that I'm reviewing. So that's quite frustrating. So if anyone knows why that is, can you also let me know down below because that would be fab. OOTD today is this check shirt which is from m and which I got for my Christmas and jeans m and as well. Can you tell I absolutely love that place? Um, yeah, just a little chilled outfit today um, for heading through to uni. These honestly are the comfiest jeans I've ever worn. Like seriously, they're just so, so comfy, so relaxed and yeah, I'm just feeling the chill today. If in doubt, put it in a pony. That is generally the story of my life. With my, hair. my hair is up because I can't deal with it. I need to do something with it, whether that's cut it um, or just learn how to style it a little bit better. I'm just rubbish at my hair. Completing our book nerd. I am so excited to read my new book on the train. Um, I'm still reading The Goldfinch at the moment. I'm nearly finished it. I've not got too much left, but it's a really big, bulky library book, so it's not ideal for taking into uni on the train. But this one here is nice and small and compact, so this is going to be one of my reads for February. Um, by Camilla Lackberg. It's called Buried Angels. It says 12 million books sold. So I don't know, must be a good book, although I've never heard of it before. Um, and it's all about this girl who, when she's one years old, her family disappear and she's just left behind. Um, and then she goes back to this island where her family disappeared from after she loses um, her only child. And then it says within days the house is the target of an arson attack so I'm not really sure I think it's all about the mystery of our past and what actually happened and um, when she was one years old and where our family actually went and stuff like that so um looks like it'll be quite good um and yeah I'm looking forward to reading that on the train Hello everyone, sorry about this sun, it's like randomly on my chin. Um, today is Friday and it's the last day of the working week and I'm heading through to uni for three hours between 12 and 3 for some classes. Um, so that's the plan for today, I'm working all weekend and I'm also in on Monday and Tuesday at my work as well for like a placement thing. So quite a busy period at the moment to be honest and not really much time to have off but that's fine because sometimes that's the way it is in life and the sun is annoying me. The only thing that's annoying me is the fact that I don't really have a lot of time to film videos for YouTube. That's quite frustrating because really I've only got every second weekend to film stuff. So 
yeah a bit annoying but i just need to make sure my next weekend off i film lots and lots hi everyone it's friday night and i am back from uni um basically right now in fact i've forgotten a crucial element i need to get my macbook because right now i'm gonna sit down and um do a little bit of shopping because i don't know i feel like i'm kind of going through a period where i'm not very happy with what i'm wearing um and I just really, I don't know, I want to change things up a little bit with my fashion sense. So the plan is to get on ASOS and various different websites and have a little look and buy some new clothes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to make a little cup as well while I sit and do that. Um, anything else happening tonight? Not really anything that exciting to be honest. I have decided I am going to get a haircut so I need to phone and try and get booked in for next weekend because this weekend I'm working um, but what I'll try and do is get it in for next Saturday because Saturday and Sunday and um, the following week are like the only couple of days I've got free for the next couple of weeks um, so I'm going to do that because I just, I'm just not enjoying it anymore and I'm not even bothering to style it, I've no idea how to style it, it just looks a mess. Every single day I just think, oh my hair is such a mess and I want it to look nice because it's quite a prominent part um, of any person's look and body. So um, yeah, I definitely need to get that cut. So I think I'm just going to go for kind of the length I had before which was just below the collarbone. Um, but I think this time I'll try and get a couple of bits cut here to frame my face because last time it was a complete and utter blunt cut. Today I picked up a complete and utter bargain. Look at this. This is the Maze Runner series uh, by James Dashner and it's four books I think. Yep, four books for £9.99. What a bargain. So the Maze Runner, Scorch Trials, The Death Cure and The Kill Order. So um, I know what the Maze Runner is about because I've seen the film, although I haven't read the book so I'll definitely read that as well. Um, but I've no idea what these three are about so I'm looking forward to reading them.